I hadn't blacked out. I was simply frustrated and ashamed by what had, had what had just happened. He held the upper hand the entire time I failed to make him feel the least bit threatened, and then I displayed open relief when the hell had just concluded. It all made me want to curse in frustration. I shifted my gaze to the side and breathed a sigh. As, bar as barely as I did it, I fulfilled my primary goal. Yay! She sat next to me and tilted her head, all confused. We both went through some extraordinary stuff, but I guess it was best to leave them behind just behind them. What? Behind us for now. There were countless more important things to do and think about. Reinhard told me that there was no escape, but fighting that beast mano a mano was the peak of stupidity. From here onwards, I had to do something to prevent him from showing himself ever again. So I had to figure out what that something was as soon as possible. Mari, I helped her do that and started examining her from top to bottom, looking for anything wrong. The fact that I was doing that with the mindset of a swordsman checking his blade for any nicks made me feel kind of bad, but I considered it a priority to get a grasp of her state before we did anything else. After all, why is she looking at me? What? She had the appearance of a girl about my age and eyeing her from... Point blank range was really damn discourteous. Well, but she wasn't the type of she wasn't the type of girl to mind it. Hell, if she did, even I would be too embarrassed to do this. And so, with feelings of gratitude towards her obliviousness, uh, I would have liked to unroll her sleeves and raise her skirt, but um, uh, what? Why was she looking at me like that? She put her hands on my chest and pushed me away. A clear statement that she didn't want me to come any closer. No. Uh huh. Her push wasn't very strong, but the str but the surprise was so great that I staggered. Wink. 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 <laughs> I only wanted to check if she was really not injured. What? What? Embarrassed? This girl. Wait, that couldn't be right. Why was she? <laughs> Red. <laughs> Where and how did she learn that word? Wait, since when did she even have feelings of bashfulness? As I stood there confused at the unexpected event, Mary looked around the area. Then, with another, serious expression I've never seen on her, she spoke. What happened? What did... What did Reinhard teach you? What did he do to you? What happened? While I tried to get a grasp on the reasons for her change, she took the situation into her own hands and made me come after her as she strutted off. And so, with the eyes of a person standing before a heavy obstacle, she opened the gate and I went through. Beyond which stood... Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh. Hello. Was he waiting this entire time? The Lyria Trifa, the priest that brought me here. Mary stood proud and I glared at him as one would glare at an enemy, but not like there, there was any doubt that he was an enemy, but he gave a slight chuckle and... I was going to give him a quick thanks for that, but then... 
As bad at reading the mood as ever, Mary broke into our exchange. What? Oh, what? Where, what? <laughs> what? Mary's words made me tilt my head in puzzlement. Father Trifa, on the other hand, narrowed his eyes with visible admiration. これは内緒のお話ですが、本当の私はお城に捕らわれているのですよ。ですから勇敢なお姫様なり王子様なり哀れな私を助けに来てくださると嬉しいのですが。What? <laughs> Their clearly meaningless exchange pissed me off to the point where I grabbed Mary's arm and pulled her away from him. この子に関わるな。とにかくもう用はすんだろう。ああ、ええ、そうですね。ハイドリ秘境から受けた命はすでに私も果たしました。それとも。he left off the rest of the sentence and his smile shifted into a crescent moon. His eyes sh opened and sharp, and his irises, reminiscent of frozen lakes, released a menacing glow. The priest implied that he would be ready for a battle here and now. Oh, well, that was definitely an option. Not for me, though. Reinhardt wasn't anywhere close, and I had Mary with me again, so having a go at fi fighting Father Trifa wouldn't have been a bad idea at all. However, the game won't give me that choice, right? Yeah. Uh, I subdued my emotions, heaved a sigh, and chose to retreat for the time being. So Ah. Indeed, this was the church, and she was somewhere in it, not to mention the possibility of Wilhelm, Rusalka, and Sakurai being here. If I inconsiderately went wild here, there was no telling what could happen to her. A few seconds passed as we glared at one another, and suddenly my emotions wavered. Even if I chose not to fight him now, I could still take Himuro and run away with her. Sure, their home and field advantage made the probability of success extremely questionable, but if it meant rescuing her from these psychos, it might be worth it. As I considered that course of action, Mary pulled on my sleeve. Really? Well, there was no denying that she was displaying a lot of certainty. But damn, what, are the, what the hell happened to her? I couldn't help but feel uneasy about this. I had no clue what her change meant or where it would lead. So trusting her would be like re a reckless gamble. I don't... Okay. I didn't get it at all. Father Trifa was Father Trifa, the very same nut job shaking his shoulders as he held back his laughter at who knows what. I had to make a decision. <laughs> Mary looked at me with sincerity and honesty that was never there before. I didn't know the reason for her change, but I felt like it was something to be glad about. The Mary I got from Mercurius was almost doll like in demeanor. I knew nothing wheel nor woe? What does that mean? So I always felt a bit uncomfortable about using her as a tool. Now though, she was voicing opinions for her she herself formed and asked me to believe her as a partner. Who was I to reject that? I didn't trust Father Trifa at all, nor was I lowering my guard towards him. I had enough of his farces to last me a lifetime. Instead, I believed in Mary. Not Father Trifa, but Mary, the girl at my side. 
ええわかりましたではこちらへ The Lariya Trifa respectfully bowed his head and started to show us the way out. 言い忘れましたがあなたの友人も死んではいない<gasps> 心配しているでしょうから<gasps> He might be worried about me. No. Maybe. Maybe. But Shiro's alive. Yay. Yujin? Shiro. Hey. So he was alright, huh? Well, he wasn't a type to worry about me. Yup. But the club was the only place I could return to right now, so we definitely meet up there. I made the correct choice, right? Kimuro was someone irreplaceable to me, but. <laughs> Right next to me, Mary smiled and voiced a laugh like it was her very first. That smile was one that I wanted to protect. Those words healed me of the burdening uncertainty within my heart. And for the first time ever, I considered her charming? I'm a tough cookie to get you. Uh, I. Huh. Okay. Okay, Ren. Sure. Sate. After watching Ren Fuji leave the church grounds, Trifa slowly turned around. He then spoke in a solemn voice, a solemn tone with no hint of parting grief. No one showed themselves, but there was no doubt that they were all listening. Thus, the priest continued. Jiki,夜が明ける。その時を持って本格的な開戦とします。存分に狂い乱れるがよろしかろう。今現在開いた諏訪地下は二つ。そのどちらも廃取り卑怯へ捧げる有資格者を書いている。Wait, who's the first one? Lady Kirkishan? Kirk Kirchison? Kirchison? Kirkison? Eh? Daga. No kori mutsu. So ste. Wale la mo matarokuni. Ma. With the cheer of a bard chanting a poem, Rifa continued. Snawachi, Kore Yori Mitsu, Hirakoto Kyokashimas. Tadashi. ドジツノチニオコナウノアサケナサイ。ハヤイモノガチデスンガ。ソコワマモラネバ。カクノミガタモタニ。ジェフクシテモフタツマデ。ギャクサツヨリモセンソウオ。ナンジラミナニサイワ
What? Oh, okay, well, that's the end for now, I guess. How much is the act one and two? Hold on. Click, 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 click. It is... Holy crap, one act is 20 bucks? What? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> uh, it's... I don't know, I enjoyed it. There's parts I enjoyed, there's parts I didn't enjoy. Uh, it is a visual novel, but then like... I don't know, I feel... It didn't live up to my expectations looking at all the steam reviews um and yeah i don't know if i'll continue i guess if there's enough support on youtube uh regarding this series i'll take a i'll take a gander at act one and then see if that goes well uh recording wise uh but anyways yeah that was dearest era the prologue and prior to act one and two uh if you enjoyed this please consider subscribing commenting liking sharing uh any other social media outlet you have got instagram snapchat do those work i don't even have those <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying it's really weird to end it like this because yes it was a trial but there was a lot of shit in it for it being free i think i played like 20 22 hours but like like yeah um but yeah yeah uh i, I don't know how to end this fuck um uh, <laughs> uh anyways uh yeah like i said i hope you enjoyed this and um i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day Night, evening, dusk, uh, noon, dinner, breakfast. Anyways, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.